Hello. On behalf of President Biden and Secretary Blinken, I'm honored to be part of the Atlantic Council's African Creative Spotlight Series. As President Biden shared at the Africa Leaders Summit, the special partnership between the United States and Africa is one built on mutual respect and shared values. That's why the United States is working with governments, the private sector, and NGOs across the continent to support shared goals to expand access to education, economic opportunity, equity, and inclusion, especially through the creative economy. Africa's creative industries present immense growth potential. And thanks to the amazing talent on the continent, that's possible. But also through the expanding youth population, increasing urbanization and rising middle class, this potential is important since the creative economy drives economic growth and accounts for approximately 30 million jobs worldwide and about 3% of the world's GDP. Education is an essential component of Africa's creative economy. And through our community college initiative, the United States is able to support efforts by South Africans and Nigerians to expand the workforce through upskilling and technical education that helps create opportunity through below the line jobs in production, promotion, and technical support. This year, the United States launched the Africa Creative TV Initiative working closely with the University of Southern California's School of Cinematic Arts. ACTV is a new professional development and network building program that engages African TV writers, producers, and the below the line professionals in Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa. We also launched the American Music Mentorship Program, a partnership between the United States Department of State and the Recording Academy, better known as the Grammys. AMP, as we like to call it, will support international mid-career music industry professionals from Ghana, Kenya, and Nigeria, as well as Morocco and Egypt. Through mentorship and networking opportunities here in the United States, but will continue when they return home. Whether it was the female small business owners at the watershed market in Cape Town or the OGD studios in Lagos, entrepreneurs across Africa are rising to meet the moment to build a lasting, inclusive, creative economy. These efforts and so many more truly showcase the partnership between the United States and Africa as we work together for a more prosperous and peaceful future. I can't wait to see all that we can accomplish together. Thank you.